Well, back pain is very common, one of the most common human ailments, of, of course, and it's the most common phone call to my office, chiropractic offices, physical therapy offices, and so forth. Here's a fairly typical case. Just recently, 67-year-old woman comes to see me. Four years earlier, she's in a strength class, does, overdoes something, injures her low back. Now she's have off and on back problems ever since. Recently, uh, a few weeks before coming to see me, she had a flare-up, wasn't sure what she did, but she had a flare-up. She went for some physical therapy and so, got some good relief, but has some residual, which sent her into my office. So we start our, our work and she came in and her pain was like a five over 10, five on a 10 scale. And right now, current day, it's more like zero to two, zero to, zero to three. So sometimes she doesn't feel it at all, which is really cool. Okay, so uh, she also was concerned about her slouching posture. She was, she's 67, taking good care of herself. Remember, she was strength training four, four years ago, more on that in a minute. And so she's got a posture, some of, the, some of the rounding shoulders, some of the head coming forward. She's like, I'd also like to address that too. So we said, we can do that. All right, so what do we do? Here's the six things that we did for her. Number one is chiropractic care. So we did our chiropractic workup. We did orthopedic tests, neurological tests, posture analysis. We looked at alignment and so forth. In her case, because it was non-complicated lower back pain, we didn't need any x-rays at the time. So we pushed forward doing chiropractic adjustments and within a couple of weeks, good improvement just from that. So we did our chiropractic adjusting. Second, like almost, almost all people, specific spine exercises. We've talked about them on this show for years and you can go to the YouTube page if you want to if you are not familiar with that. We have lots of spine exercises that, that, that we encourage. Remember, if you have an issue, check with your doctor or therapist or chiropractor first to make sure that these are appropriate for you. But we gave her range of motion exercises and of course posture exercises to start strengthening those postural muscles on the back side of the spine so she's going to be more like this, right? Easy enough. So we start doing that and she dug right in and, and loved those. Next we did some sitting changes. Sitting changes. So this is a common scenario for a lot of people. Neck and back problems. You're sitting on the cushy couch in the living room or the cushy chair, right? It kind of feels good when you first get into it, but then it, you sink into it, right? Because it's way too soft. So now you're, you're sitting in there for a half an hour, hour, two hours, whatever, and you're like, this doesn't feel very good, and your back's bothering you, your neck is stiff, and you have to kind of ratchet yourself out of that soft couch or chair. We traded that in for a firm dining room chair, okay? Not as comfortable uh, sitting on top of it, but she also puts a little uh, throw pillow behind her to accentuate the posture in this direction. She's like, totally, I can definitely sit there, not, not as long now, and more on that in a moment, but she's not sitting there as, as long because the other thing she started to do was sit on the floor. Now, not a lot of people can do this, but you can sit on the floor cross-legged. And so she'll mix that in there. She might be sitting for a while, she's watching a program, doing some work, reading, whatever, and then she'll sit on the floor for five or 10 minutes and then go back up on the chair. So she's modifying all of the sitting that she's doing with a better chair, taking breaks, sitting on the floor, doing her stretches, right? So that worked really well for her. And this, is, this has been a big change for a lot of people, is they just stop sitting on that, that cushy couch, or at least they get a couple of throw pillows behind them so you're not sunk into it like this, right? Some people with an active back or neck problem, they'll drag a, a dining room chair into the living room and be sitting more upright on that because it's much better for them. So sitting changes. And you can adapt that to the office, right? So in the office, we tend to sit too long, then our back bothers us, then we might get up and stretch. No, we, we want to actually be taking those, those set up active breaks on a regular basis, like at least every hour, if not every 45 minutes or 30 minutes, depending on what's going on with your back, to get up and take 30 seconds and stretch. And then you sit again, get back up again in 30 minutes, 45 minutes or an hour, stretch again for 30 seconds and so forth. Modifying sitting, modifying sitting. Next is the spread eagle stance. So this, that's a standing thing, right? So I call it the spread eagle stance. It's basically for counter work. So if you're standing at a counter and you're gonna be preparing food, washing dishes, doing a hobby, whatever it is, um, 
this posture we have to get away from. So you spread your feet nice and far apart. You spread them far apart so you lower down to your work surface and you're not having that slight bend in the lower back any longer. I do this every day when I'm at the sink, right? And so your back is upright like this. She started doing that. She said, excellent, love that. So again, here we are in front of a counter Bend forward a slight bend like this, and if you're preparing food for a while and so forth, back egg, some of you. So you spread those feet apart like this, and look, look at what it does to my stance, right? Instead of here, it's now here. So the back is more upright in the appropriate position, can take some back stress off. So she enjoyed that little trick. And uh, that's, that's on my, in my book, Happy Back, and it's, it's on my website and YouTube page. Okay, then she said, okay, I really like to weight train. Now this is after we've been working together for a few weeks and she's doing a lot better. I want to weight train, but uh, I'm concerned. I'm really worried because I injured myself four years ago when I got back to it. I said, no problem. At my show, I did this video called a safe dumbbell workout at home. She says, I'll go check it out. She watched it, she dug right in, she said, this is great, I'm back into weight training and I know it's really safe for my lower back. So she's, she's doing that every day now. So that's another thing that people can do is if they are desiring to get back into resistance training and weight training, you can start with something simple. A lot of us will go back to, so once we were feeling some better, we go back to that class and whatever it might be and go too intense and in in starting off, kind of re-injure ourselves. We want to avoid that, right? That's the whole purpose of the safe dumbbell workout at home and restarting the weight training slowly. That's what we want to be doing so we don't re-injure it and lose more time off of working out and doing the things around the house that you want to do. And the last one is we've increased her posture awareness, okay? So now she's just aware of correcting herself when she's driving, when she's sitting, when she's working, whatever she's doing, when she's walking, part of her exercise routine. She's now being more aware of this, okay? We don't want you to have perfect posture all the time. That's impossible. You drive yourself crazy. But she's self-correcting just like I do. We're correcting several times a day. We're correcting maybe a couple times an hour. You're just thinking about what you're doing when you're sitting, driving, standing, working, walking, walking, working out, whatever it might be. So with this whole list of things, uh, she's doing really well. So we're six weeks into her care now. She says, I'm feeling much better with treatment. Almost there, not quite there yet. Now uh, it's like zero to one over 10. She can sit a lot longer, much more um, uh, comfortably. And she's thrilled with the improvements in the back. She's thrilled with her starting the improvements in her posture. And she's absolutely thrilled that she can work out again. These types of programs are what we do for that very common and unfortunate thing called low back pain. I'm Dr. Scott Fuller.